We are back. Welcome back, everybody. Look what we got right here. So I actually did not know Walgreens sells tins. They had like they had quite a few. They had uh, like some hidden fates boxes, some tins. Now they actually only had this tin right here, which looks like a. Uh, one of the factory workers might have set a drink down on it. It uses a coaster for a little bit. These tins are a little bit thinner. They only come with three packs versus the the five packs like a a, a tin like Walmart comes with. Uh, but I kind of I'm not gonna lie. I like the size of these tins. Why did they put the five packs in these? Just you know, those five pack ones. They're like a bag of nachos. You know, only just half full anyway. But uh, let me get scoot up and adjust. Anyway, I had to go to a couple more, and I found it. And hopefully that's the only. We got Snorlax, Mimikyu, and, and Darkrai. Hopefully that's the, the full set, so we're going to open this up. I have no idea what's inside this. Just thought it was cool. I got to say, eh, this one's all right. Least favorite right here. But I can't tell which one's my favorite. I like the Snorlax card better. But look at this Mimikyu tin. Just look at that, the, the spiral, the way it all set and just plays out. Like, that, that's got to be my favorite tin. I, I want to just keep this just for the tin. What really bugs me about these tins, if I were to nitpick though, is these corners. This chopping off. You guys can't use these tins for jack. You can't put cards in there because they'll be bouncing around, just getting banged up. I guess you can put them in top loaders, they're still bouncing around. So I wish they would just come out with some square tins. Not the stackable ones, because those are an awkward size too. Make it big enough to fit the, the card. That's it. <laughs> or something. I just want it to be usable again. Tell me I'm not the only one. Let me look at the comments down below. Tell me I'm not the only one. I do have... By the way, we're going to jump right into this. As I'm cutting the plastic off, let's talk. Um, uh, shout out to all the new subscribers that I have. I do have a bunch of stuff that's already recorded that I'm going to upload. Uh, but I don't think I'm shouting out any like new members or anything like that. So we're going to get that out going forward. It's going to be all all new energy, all new, all new subscribers. It's up to you guys. Uh, it's still white desk and everything, but I just... I don't know what I have. Uh, I was making videos. I sat down one day and just recorded a whole bunch just because uh, I, I do get busy sometimes. I wanted to have just a, a backlog of it. And I've, I've almost doubled my subscribers just in the past day. So, uh, again, shout out to everybody that's here. But now I've, I've been nervous to upload any of the old stuff. Like, wait a minute. Are they going to like that? What kind of energy was I giving off that day? Did I call it Evolving Scrap? Evolving cries. Did I call it fusion striking out? I do want to make sure I, I stay positive. Are you guys kidding me right now? Look at this knife. Just good for nothing. Usually I put this like like this. Poke Rev. Anyone else? You guys watching me? Focus up. Where's that? Come on. Anyway, the blade is barely sticking out right there. You can usually put it right up here to the groove. Not cut the tin or anything like that. Everyone uses like these just box cutters, these huge knives. I'm like, what are you doing? They probably don't care. They're throwing the trash away, as you should. But get these. These things are actually, I know I'm not showing off, but you you actually break that break that off with this little breaker right here. Anyway, I can teach you more about shop class, I guess. We got a fresh, fresh hit board. And we got, uh, just in case, we got a quick ball. Now, last time we got a quick ball, we did pull the Alt, Alt Dragon Knight. Banger hit. So, uh, man, let's go Dark Cry first, then Snorlax. We'll save the best tin for last. The coolest looking tin. Let's put these up here to the side. What kind of packs do we have in here? Three packs. So, Brilliant Stars right off the bat. Dark Cry. You know what? This is actually a pack battle. I See, I like the tins with the cardboard. You just don't have this stuff. This I don't like this. There's that card for you. All right, so we got Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike. Is this the Costco tins? No, uh, no way. So we got Evolving Skies. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we're doing? For, you know what we're doing? We're doing the ultimate tins versus booster boxes. If you are new here, maybe you haven't been around the past couple of days, you might notice a thing or two. Scoot that out of the way. Evolving Skies booster pack. Fusion Strike Booster bo <laughs> Booster Pack got a few of them. Look at that. Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike. We got booster boxes of each of these. So my so I go live on Mondays and Wednesdays. Got to keep to that. I want to just burn through it all, but got got pace ourselves. I'm gonna leave these cards here, and I'm gonna find. I at least gotta find another Costco tin. 
Well, I got to buy it off somebody. Somebody's got that stuff sealed. I'm going to do these three tins and a Costco tin, and we're going to put those four tins up to the booster box, which probably isn't really fair at all, especially because this is such a glass cannon. Evolving Skies, one Evolving Skies pack will make or break that entire thing. We pull the Moonbrion out of the booster box, slayed. You know, we, we pull it out of a Costco tin, get out of here. You wasted all your money on that booster box. Anyway, let's, let's uh, you know what since we're talking about, let's get into it. Let's get this one. Right now, who do you think wins, the booster box or the tins? If you had to call it, let me know in the comments down below. Who's winning this one right now? There's that card. Let's pack trick it up just to see if we got any. Uh, let's give it some uh, some good some good luck. We'll turn th we'll burn through the rest of these just for the uh, the sake of time. Full of baby, rag and roll, side duck. I feel like his art never changes. He just always looks like a basic every time. Hitmonchan for the reverse. Ooh, see, wishy-washy, non-hollow. We call that an evolving cries pack. I see a little one rolling around. All right, fusion strike, fusion strike, or fusion striking out. We got a name for all of them. We've been opening up these for a while now. All right, white code card, sword and shield, fusion strike. Do they all say that? Mighty mysterious ten dark cry. Interesting. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Or I've never opened up that that half. Let's get it up here on, on screen for you guys. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh, we got Marill. Wooloo. It's basically everyone's YouTube background, but at night. All right, Yveltal for <laughs> what you might not ever guess is a, uh, a hollow rare. And we got a non-hollow Gorbis. So we're striking out so far. That was fusion strike. Well, fusion strike one. If the other tens have that, we're gonna have three strikes tonight. Hopefully not three strikes. We'll have three chances. What we got here. Ooh, black code card. Let's pack trick it up. Brilliant stars is just gonna save the day, I think. Brilliant stars is always coming in for that, for that win, that hit. Cynthia's ambition. Cynthia, we need you. Save the day on this one. Let's kick it off strong. Dark cry. We I do see a trainer gallery. So we got something in here. At least we got a, a pretty decent pull. Starly for the reverse. Oh, what was I thinking? Why did I think that was a trainer gallery? Anyway, Starly for the reverse rare. We got a Gramble V. Put that right there. So there's, there's your Dark Cry box. One hit. All right, let's go with our, our next 10. Let's go uh, Snorlax. I'm gonna Snorlax it up. Look at this one. I do like this art. Look at this. he's just is he yawning, just waking up, he just fist to the sky, about to start this day off right. What a, that's actually a pretty cool card. Right, let's get this plastic out of here. Alright, there's that card for you. We got another brilliant stars. Oh, fusion. All right, let me open it up on, on screen for you guys. Fusion strike again. Strike two. Evolving skies. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can't keep that name this time. <laughs> Don't be an evolving cries pack. Come on. All right. Are these, are these stackable? No. Come on. All right. Let's do a uh, brilliant stars. Fusion strike. Fusion strike. Brilliant stars. Evolving. Evolving stars. So fusion. Come on, give me, give me something. Ooh, is that a black code card? Ah, oh, it's white, it's just backwards. Looks like this is gonna be strike two. What well, we got? Uh, Bunary, Bunary, Bunnyary <laughs> for the reverse. Oh, we got a hollow lander, so at least we got a hollow out of that. Uh, all right, let's see. So far, uh, we're gonna call that that strike two. It's not quite a hit. We'll see. We'll be a tiebreaker on the next one. We'll get a clear decision. Brilliant stars or brilliant scars. What we got here? Yo, saving the day. I told you. Brilliant stars. Man, you could open up a lot of nothing out of these. And it just comes in like, hey, sorry I was late. I didn't get the memo. You know, really just making up for some lost time. We got something here. It looks like a rainbow. Rainbow or maybe a, uh, a V star. I'm thinking rainbow. I'm thinking rainbow. 
All right, we got Grimmsnarl for a reverse rare, and our hit is a Rainbow Kindler. He's not in the waifu club, <laughs> but not bad. So Snorlax already coming in. The Snorlax box just, I can't say coming in hot because we only got three packs, but not bad. Okay, so one hit out of this. And it beats Dark. I it's already beaten Dark. I right? take that rainbow all day over Granville V. What we got here? Is it? Uh, that's a green one, right? I don't know how the old ones are set up as far as code cards go. Again, I am fairly new to this. I almost just pack tricked it up twice. We did get a hit though. We got a hit. It, this is an evolving skies pack for sure. One evolving cries. One evolving skies. What's that third one gonna be? All right, I'm doing this live. Usually I don't do this. this. This feels weird. There we go. Bergmite. All right, we got Rufflet for the reverse. And our hit for the just the real win out of this Snorlax box, Lycanroc V. All right, we definitely pulled better out of Evolving Skies. But if we're going to compare the tins, Snorlax versus Darkrai, doesn't even count. Those cancel each other out. We got a full-blown rainbow hit. Last but not least, the Mimikyu. Maybe not everyone's favorite card. But look at that tin. That tin, I don't know. Per maybe it's because it's purple and green. We got Venusaur and Mewtwo right there. Those have never really been my colors because it's usually just blue and black or chrome. It's basically everything I own. But uh, lately, I'm killing it. All right. Let's get this out of here. Get that card. Hope you guys are getting something out of this. All right. And we got same thing, right? Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies. We're going to open it up in that order. Let's get these. All right, so Brilliant Stars. Let's, let's kick it off. Kick it off right. Let's set it off. There's one, like, I want to get the biggest hit out of Evolving Skies, but you know if there's one that's just really going to come through, it's going to be Brilliant Stars. I wanted to show it, and then just skipped right to it. Look at this. Right off the bat with a hit. Uh, Bear tick for a reverse. And we got an Agron VMAX. I don't. This is Brilliant Stars. Well, I feel like I have this, but that just looks so new. I, not bad. Kicking it off with a VMAX. All right. So, who Snorlax got some work cut out for it. Fusion Strike. This is. We got two strikes. Okay. Fusion Strike has not put a hit on the board yet. Fusion Strike or Fusion Striking out. Let's keep that code card for the end. Let's just go through it and see. Is this it? Here's the pit. Here, here's the windup. Not a baseball guy. Sorry. Here's the pitch. Looks like I think we did. Charger Bug. This is the first one I've actually seen that's not the Radiant Charger Bug. And we got a uh, Striking out. Fusion Striking out. Non Hollow Toxic Croak. Let's get that code card and get it out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Evolving Skies or Evolving Cries. Oh, my music did something weird there for a second. I'm sorry. I almost, my, almost knocked all my tents over there, but I got real loud. All right, there's that card. Now you're going to look at it. Evolving Skies, let's go. We got Drompa, hot, reverse rare. Oh, and a non hollow seismitoad evolving cries. Oh man. Okay, so Snorlax definitely for that win. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave all these up. So ooh, we're gonna smoke these things. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. Is there another way to do this? Because it's very popular that those three sets are coming in tens. Uh and I can't find I can't go out and just go buy thirty six of these tins and have all of them. Um uh, would have already done that. Uh, so stock's low. So I kind of want to just battle up just because they just coincidentally they're sitting on my desk. We got them out of the tins. So let me know. Is it the tins versus the packs? Should we do tins versus the left side, the right side? Uh, anyway, I want to hear all your comments. Let me know down below, guys, and I will see you. Make sure you yeah, hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you guys did like this. Shout out to all the new people that are here. Um, but, again, I go live on Mondays and Wednesdays. That's where we're going to get into these booster boxes. Um, if there's one thing you got to comment on down below, let me know you made it to the end by answering this one question. Which booster box is first? Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, or Evolving Skies? I'll end it with that there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.